Hey friends, welcome to another Lissa video. Today I want to talk about something that I've had personal experience with and a lot of the people that I help and coach and talk to about changing over to a rot or vegan diet. A lot of people will use this and I did as well. Um, again, as another uh, justification to eating things. Um, the thing is that we will use the sentence or saying, I'm listening to my body to use that as a justification to eat certain things. Now, there is a time and a place to be using that term. Uh, you want to listen to your body and you want to know what's going on. But a lot of people will get um, cravings and desires mixed up with listening to their body. Because a lot of people will, for example, for me, um, if I do increase my fats a little higher, maybe some days I eat a little bit more nuts, I tend to crave more nuts and seeds, more fat things. Um, and in the early days, I was craving a lot of cooked food if I was eating high fat. So in my mind, I was thinking my body needs more fat. I need to get more fat or maybe I need cooked food and all of these things because you have these cravings and you think that your body needs it. But when you when it all boils down and you use um, a calorie counting app, a nutrition counting app like Chronometer, for example, and you enter in all your food and you're getting all your nutrition, you're getting all your calories, you're getting everything. Why are we having these desires to have more fat or cooked food or even some people will say they start craving or wanting animal products and then they are thinking they're listening to their body and they think they need it, but they really don't. They're already getting all their nutrition and it's really all in the mind. Uh, the body is defaulting to old cravings, old habits, old desires and wants, and they're all basically, you know, or tradition, um, cultural dishes, all of that kind of stuff is all combined into these you know, signals that we think our body is telling us that we need, but we actually don't. So I want you guys to start thinking about listening to your bodies properly. Yes, some people may need a little bit more fat than others, but if you're going to be increasing your fat, I want you to watch your symptoms. Um, symptoms of too much fat are lethargy after eating, um, cravings, uh, blood sugar crashes, tiredness, those are good indications that you're eating too much fats. So you might want to t uh, scale that back down to about 10%. Um, but when it comes to other things like cooked foods and that, if these foods are making you feel crappy, then your body isn't actually craving them for its own benefit. It's more of an addiction, craving more of this old desire that's coming up and you're using your listening to your body as an excuse to just keep eating those foods. Listening to your body in my books is listening to what feels good and what feels bad. So if you're craving animal products but you know they're bad for you, then you're not actually craving the animal products. You, you're desiring that old lifestyle, um, the habits, the tradition, again, all of that kind of stuff, you're still clinging onto it a little bit. And that is the, the desire. It's not actually for nutrition because you can get all of your nutrition from plants. And once you hit your nutrition goals, any of those cravings and all that kind of stuff is just all mental and it's all extra fluff in the background because you're already getting your nutrition. You don't need it from other areas. So I want you guys to start thinking about how you're listening to your body and what it's telling you. And I use this as an example for spices. Um, there are a lot of people who are purists and that's cool if you're a purist. I'm not, I have nothing against you. Um, I would love to be a purist, but I love my garlic. But if I was eating garlic one day and I started to get burning sensation in my stomach or maybe in my throat um, and it, I knew it was related to the garlic, then that is listening to your body. Your body is saying, I don't want the garlic anymore. It's making me feel unwell. Then you would let go of the garlic. If you're hungry and you're snacky and you're craving foods, um, you're, you shouldn't be eating muffins and donuts and bagels and pasta and all that 
stuff with high fat and oil and salt and everything. You should be eating fruit, whole foods. You're listening to your body. Your body is saying, I need fuel and energy. So give it the whole food, the fruits, the vegetables, and all of that raw goodness that it's actually looking for. And don't default back to all of those other things because people think, again, they're listening to their body so they must need that muffin. But no, 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 they just, they need to eat more calories and get more energy for the body because the body, that's all it's looking for. It's looking for glucose to burn as energy. And we need to just constantly be filling that. A lot of the cravings are just because we need food or water too as well. So um, again, yeah, touchy subject, but I hope you guys maybe learned something or whatever from this video. I know that I used to use that term to justify eating whatever I wanted as well. I would think that my body needed it. So I wanted to share that with you. It's another mental game that we play with ourselves. And I know I like to share a lot of these mental game videos with you guys. I know it helps a lot of you. So hopefully this one can too. Uh, if you like this video, please click like and subscribe to my channel to get more notifications for more videos. Um, and there is a 30 day meal plan that I'm making mid March. So find me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouFood to get notifications of when that's gonna be out because there's gonna be tons of new recipes and it's gonna make prep work a lot easier for people who wanna follow a step-by-step, -step. this is how you do it, this is what you eat and just eat this um, for those. Uh, <laughs> anyways, so now I'm gonna go make more 52 to new you videos and until the next video guys, fruit on.